The following is an edited recording from a live video broadcast. Image and audio quality may vary. My question to you, Mr. Aaron, is how do you think the big three franchises, Doctor Who, Star Trek and Star Wars, will look in 2034? What do you think? Um, I think they're going to be very retrospective and they're going to look more like their classic versions than they do now because I think we've gone through with all of these franchises changes and modifications and what we've seen is you don't keep the old fans by changing stuff radically but it doesn't pick up enough new fans to justify doing it we've just seen this in Doctor Who where there was a female doctor and I won't say she was universally hated but the ratings dropped and there was a general murmuring in fandom, when can we get back to older style Doctor Who? And I think they've course corrected that. Star Trek, they've done the same thing. I would say even, even more than Doctor Who, where they've really done shows that have turned fans off. And Star Wars, we can see, Star Wars is more of a, a scattershot where they try and make a movie for one like age group and another fan group and another thing. But in 10 years' time, I think... All of that will be ironed out. And what they will say is it's the classic tenets and standards that these franchises were built on and the foundations that will always be there. And I think it will be a, a move back to them. And what will happen? There will be a move back to them and then whoever comes in as the next producer will change it around again. And But I think always you're going to come back to the original um, heart of the franchises. So I do think what we're seeing now is sort of probably the end of the mixing up and changing stuff around phase. And I think Hollywood, not just in these franchises, but in everything, have probably taken a hit financially because of this. And I do think if you buy a franchise and you put money into buying it, don't change it. You're buying a franchise for the very reason you want that franchise and that fan base. So I think gradually over the next 10 years it's probably going to normalise back to what we grew up with. So the first thing is um, you're already suggesting, and there's nothing wrong with this, to say that all three of them will still be going relatively strong 10 years from now, yeah? Um, I would say Doctor Who definitely. I'd say it's actually coming coming out of a rut and um, becoming more popular again. That is quite obviously uh, for me to see just from the reaction to the new series in the shop. So I definitely think it's got 10 years of steam because what we're seeing at the moment is not the end of a BBC series. It's the beginning of a Disney franchise. Mm. And I think they're in it for the long haul with what I've heard they're going to be producing. Star Wars, the same deal. If you buy something for $6 billion, you are going to stick with that. You're going to flog that dead horse um, until you've got every last penny out of it. And I think there's obviously unlimited stories in the Star Wars universe, and I would hope in the next decade they'll hit that sort of magic formula where they know what's going to work and people are going to like. So I do think that will continue as well. The one I'm not sure about is Star Trek because... Paramount has sold the rights to different people and they've changed the, the the stories a lot and a lot of fans aren't happy with um, the Picard and the discoveries and stuff like that. And you would see from the shop, out of the Doctor Who and the, the Star Wars mm -hmm. and the Star Trek, there is no fan base for Star Trek left. The one shining light with Star Trek is, is Strange New Worlds, which I do think is doing quite well in doing stories that appeal to old fans but also capturing new fans with what Star Trek is all about rather than trying to reflect current society to get new fans in. But I don't know how much money Paramount will continue to put in with what they're getting back out of Star Trek. So that's the one that might not be around in 10 years' time. That said, I always think it will come back because someone will bring out a movie or try and reboot the series, but we'll see. It's very funny. First thing I thought was interesting is that we're, there is a belief that all three franchises will still be going strong 10 years from now. I'm not entirely sure with Star Wars. They don't think that far ahead. They they only tend to think a year or two in advance. And who knows, 10 years from now, the whole thing might have just gone quiet and Disney potentially may have sold the whole off, made their money back and said, you know what, we're out of it now. Too much fan criticism. We're over it. We've done our TV shows. We've run out of ideas. We're just stopping. Sure, there's another movie coming out in a couple of years' time, but 10 years from now is a long way away. So I'm curious to see where that goes. With Star Trek, I read an article today in Variety magazine 
where they're saying there's more material now than they've ever produced before. They're just overlapping all these shows like Discovery, Strange New Worlds, Picard has just finished, Prodigy, Lower Decks. They still talk about doing another Kelvin Universe movie and a Section 30 and one has just finished production. So in the very short term, you'd think Star Trek is going to be cooking on gas forever. Um, it's a question of whether they can maintain that sustainability for the next decade. And I wouldn't be surprised if they do get to the point where they get to the end of the 2020s and they go, we need to take a break. We've actually just saturated the market that much that it's actually worked against us. And as we discussed last week with the Marvel situation, you can sometimes put too much product out and you just run out of ideas and go, ah, now we're yeah. kind of struggling. Because one thing I did learn today, there's a new series of Star Trek coming out called Starfleet Academy. And it's actually set in the 32nd century, which is where Discovery was. So they're trying to create a whole new franchise for out there. Doki Who is an interesting one. Um, so it's obviously going through a massive high at the moment. Uh, I agree with you in that its dark times are definitely behind it, especially throughout the 1990s and maybe the early 2000s. But at the moment, it seems to be on an upward peak and everything hinges on the success of the Doctor, who the Doctor is, whether it works for the audience. And we've seen in recent years that doesn't always uh, play out. So it's easy to think with all three franchises, as of right now, they are all kicking goals. But a decade from now, it would be interesting to see if any of them are struggling or whether any of them are saying, you know what, we've maintained that level of interest through that entire period. But of course, allowing for the fact that we're all bringing in new fans all the time.